All right, what is going on guys? Cargis here with another video and today we're going to be coding our BMW. So what you will need is a USB drive, a computer, and that is it. So start off, let's uh, go to our computer. All right guys, so now that we're in the room, you're going to want to go to the website that is down in the link in the description where I posted that. So what it is, is this is the this is the part where you're going to download the file and yes, you do have to pay for it, but you know what, it's it might be worth it for some of you. So you're gonna scroll down and make sure you go to coding on the top here. Here are the top sellers, these ones, but if you keep scrolling down, it's gonna show you all of the other ones that you can do and all of them are different prices. And you'll see if I click on this one, it, it pops up on the right here. So if I click on that one, it should, they all tell you what they do. But um, the one that we're doing today is the Enchanted Bluetooth. What you're gonna do is you're gonna buy it or you're gonna add it to your cart right down there. And then once you download it and everything, you're going to want to go to your downloads and then just drag the file over to your uh, USB. And then once you drag the file onto your USB, then you're going to want to eject your uh, USB file and then we're going to go back to our car. All right, guys, now we're back in our car. And what we're going to do is turn our car on as the first thing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure my neighbors hate me. If you watched yesterday's video, we made all of our uh, lights red in here. And here. Yeah, the back looks pretty cool. It's pretty red in it's here. It's pretty red in here, yeah. So that's that's cool. Once you've turned your car on, just leave it in park, whatever. And then you're gonna you're gonna open this. And now yeah, this, it's a little messy in here, but you know it's it's organized how I like it. And you see that USB thing right here? You're gonna plug your USB file in there, okay? All right, now once it's plugged in there, you're gonna leave it in and you have to leave it in your car for at least a minute. If don't pull, even if it looks like it's done reading because some USBs like blink red, but it, even if it's done blinking, leave it in for over a minute because it has to be in there for at least a minute. Once it's done, you're gonna take your USB out, okay? You're gonna take it out. You're gonna shut your car off, guys, and then you're gonna get out, and you're gonna lock your car for 10 minutes, and you have to use your key. Don't use the comfort access mode, so make sure you lock your car for 10 minutes. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for 10 minutes. When you come back, you're gonna unlock, you're gonna start your car up, but what's gonna happen is, on the screen right here, on the, on the dash, where you're, where all your iDrive information is, it's it should take up to, uh, I believe it's 10 minutes, but it usually happens right away for it to reboot, and once it does, then you're gonna have whatever you uh, bought your file for on there. So I know some of you might, it might be a little complicated, but definitely just drop some comments below if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you need help or anything, and uh, definitely check out yesterday's video, because it was pretty awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.